morning, we focus our attention on the COVID-19 virus and the health of our eyes. Joining us this morning is Dr. Don Russell Hermans, Director of the Division of Ophthalmology and Consultant at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Is there any truth? Let's begin with this. Is there any truth with the notion that COVID can be passed on through the eyes? Yes, there have been reports and articles published um, very rarely, but it has been found in the tears. And so if you happen to come in contact with the tears of an infected individual, you can, it can be spread. And so the recommendations for us as eye care specialists are to definitely protect our eyes and of course the nose and the mouth. Now in response to that, what changes have ophthalmologists made? So we have completely modified the entire way that we practice. And just in terms of how the patients are booked, we're not seeing any elective cases. We're not seeing any routine cases. We're only strictly seeing emergencies and doing emergency surgery. And so before a patient even comes to our office or to the hospital, we screen them for any symptoms of COVID, any upper respiratory tract infection. Um, once we've cleared that they don't have any infection, once they come into the clinic or into any eye care center, we make sure that they either have their face covered with a face mask such as this, because we come in very close proximity to these patients when we're examining them. And myself and other colleagues, we also protect ourselves. I would usually have on a mask um, and as well eye protection, or I've been using face shields to cover whenever I examine a patient. Now you speak of emergencies. What are true eye emergencies? So true eye emergencies are those that are vision threatening. So any sudden loss of vision, um, any sudden onset of floaters or flashing lights, any sort of sudden onset of pain in your eyes, double vision, those, those are the things that would prompt you to call in for an emergency eye exam. Well, that said, what can Bahamians do to safeguard themselves at home in this regard? So firstly, anybody who has a diagnosed eye condition and is on eye medication, we would want them to stock up with at least two, two months supply of eye drops. Um, and just like in any other situation, like we advise them, whenever you put your eye drops in, make sure that your hands are clean. Um, the other things that we advise as well are that they pay attention to blood sugar levels, blood pressure levels, those things. Stay healthy, eat healthy. This is not the time to binge or eat on junk food. You wanna keep things under control to prevent you going into an eye emergency. Apart from that, what are some other home conditions that we can do to maintain good eye health? Okay, so there, yeah, there are several home conditions that we're advising, things that you can do at home that we're advising patients to do if you have common eye things like a sty or like a little cyst on your eye. If you have that developed, you can do just warm compresses or get a clean towel, put it in warm water and apply it to your, to the lid or to the area where the, where the sty is just to help open up the pores and help it to drain. If you happen to get a black eye, provided you haven't had any vision loss or there's not any significant pain, you can do ice packs to that eye. If you have eye allergies, try to keep the windows closed, stay away from fans. And these are just home things that you can do to prevent things getting to the point where you need to be seen in hospital or in the eye care center. Any parting words for your patients or um, any other concerns you want to note at this time? Well, what I want to emphasize to all of the Bahamian patients are just to stay safe, stay inside. And I usually tell my patients, just remember RSVP, like if you were to re re reply to an invitation. RSVP meaning R, if you have redness, call us. If you have any swelling, call us. If you have any changes in vision, give us a call. And lastly, P for the RSVP, if you have any pain in your eyes, to call. Because that's an easy way for patients to remember the key things to, that would prompt you to come in to see us during this time. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Russell Hermans, for joining us on the Morning Edition.